All right, so when I'm recording this, the name change draft actually comes out in about an hour and a half. And now I'm going to be doing the number draft. Well, the number chain draft, I should say. There was also two roster updates I was missing. Apparently there was one on January 20th, I think it was, and then the 27th. So I just grabbed the new rosters. Probably not, you know, drastically different, but... Actually, when did the Line A Dubois trade happen? I think the 27th one should encase that, so that's probably a part of that roster update. So I don't care what, you know, number it is, real life, anything like that, I'm going based off of the number they have in this game. So when I go to the player info, you can see the number and you'll see what I'm talking about. And then obviously, single numbers. So if I, you know, pick someone who was number 48, aka the Vatanin imposter, if you watch my be a pro series. I could pick Ovechkin and then the next number, I could either pick another number eight player or I could pick someone who's 84, anything, you know, you guys get the point. You know what? I'm gonna use the Vancouver Canucks. Shout out Brent, AKA X-Tech. Okay, let's do it here. Which draft position will we obtain? I really don't even know what I prefer anymore, honestly. So I don't want the head coach to edit my lines. Foggy war, no. Salary cap, yeah, I'll leave it on. None of this stuff really matters. I leave player morale on, but I turn off morale meetings. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe I'll just turn player morale off and I'll leave it on. You guys literally just witnessed an internal debate in my head. I was like staring at the screen, really, really thinking about it. Okay, here is the moment of truth. Which draft position will the Vancouver Canucks get placed into? I'm assuming we'll find out in the very near- Number five. Okay. That's pretty good, I guess. And we're gonna have a massive gap between two of our picks, but it is what it is. Kucherov, Dreisaitl, oh boy. Okay, we're left with Ovi and Sydney the Kidney. Also, Humerdo, which this guy is insane. So yeah, you can see there, he's number 77, number 88. So that's the number I'm going off of, up in the, I guess, gray colored bar there. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to take Ovi. I'm just going to do it. So number eight. The next player has to start with the number eight. Will Vasilevsky still be there? Very unlikely. Same with Pasta. Let's see. Goalies. Vasilevsky is definitely gone. Damn. Okay. That sucks. Are there any other goalies that start with the number eight? I'm trying to think of one off the top of my head, but drawing a blank. So close, Carter. So close. Brent Burns, but then we get eight again, which is kind of rough. Let's see if there's any other options here. Or maybe I should just take Brent and then... Oh. And then maybe we can get Marcheseau next. Maybe that will work. Because our next pick will be kind of close together. So, with that being said, Brent Burns is going to be our first defenseman. Ooh, actually, you know what? Tara Vinen, though? Is it going to be difficult to find a player... Oh. There it is right there, 63. It's gonna say that starts with a six, but I think I might actually take Teravainen. Yep, I'm doing it. Well then, we could take Shea Weber and then we just have to have the next number starting with six again. You know what? Yeah, I am gonna do that. Our top defensive pair is going to be Brent Burns and Weber. Not the youngest pair in the world, but probably still very good. Oh, Marcheseau actually just went too, so yeah, maybe could have had him, but there's got to be a goalie in the 60s. Oh, apparently not. Well, not one that I want to draft, at least. And that's the other thing. So, I guess I forgot to point that out, but I forgot that was also a possibility. If the number is zero, then I basically have to take someone from number one to nine. So I got to be single digits next. That's the rule there. I believe I did last time. Patch already have good face-offs? No, he does not. Left wing sniper... Seven million dollars, you're killing me, Patches. What's Dadnov? 63. You know what? I'm gonna take Dadnov because I feel like the number three is pretty common for a goalie's number to start. So, yeah. I'm gonna try getting a goalie next round for sure. Okay, I'm gonna take Dobby. 35. Five could be an interesting one, but I'm still gonna take him regardless. Giordano, number five. I mean... Yeah, just have the oldest defensive core in the world. We're gonna have lots of experience in this dressing room. I'll tell you that for free. Tyler Myers, number 57. Yeah, we're, I'm basically just saying screw the cap at this point. We also don't have a centerman yet, which is kind of concerning. P.K. Subban, 76. I mean, there's an option. Timothy Jimothy! Yeah, I have to. I have to. I actually just realized when you're looking at this, that, that is insane. Drafted 1996th. 
third round to the New York Islanders. Wow. Could take TJ Brody, and then we'd have an eight next. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Sure, why not? I mean, I was going to say, we don't really have the best goalie ever, but Dobby is very good. But, I mean, he's only 84 overall in this game, so it's tough. I do want to have a good defensive core in front of him. Nate Schmidt, then we get eight again. I feel like this has just been a lot of eights here. We still don't have a single centerman either. Uh-oh. We're definitely going to need to have some wingers play center. Kyle Turris is number eight. I mean, <laughs> 82 overall. Why not? Here we go. And then we have eight again. Oh boy. This might have got us in a bit of trouble here. We could take Dumlin, and then that gets us eight again. So I'm going to try to avoid that at this point. Kubalik also, come on, man. Someone have a number in the 80s. Ben Sherratt, also number eight. Finally, Caleb Jones. We already have six defensemen. You've got to be kidding me. Kevin Miller, 86. We don't need defensemen. Number 85, Matthew Perot. Sure. Yeah. Oh my, 4.1 million. Whatever, we got to do it. How hard is it going to be to find a number in the 50s is the real question. Or I guess just a number five, but then that could... Really, Jason? You gotta do me like that? Actually, it's a defenseman again, so it doesn't really matter. Bobby Ryan! Yeah, I kind of feel like 40 is, you know, a common number for goalies as well. So, let's go to tenders and see if we can find someone in the 40s. And then, Halak, there we go. 41, that's prime. We got two pretty good goalies. Number 16, Derek Broussard. I mean... He is a centerman, and we kind of need those right now, so yeah, let's do it. Only one million dollars. So at this point, we basically just need four more forwards, and the draft is done. But we got to find someone in the 60s right now, which I think should be easier than what we have been having. Maybe not. Number six, defenseman. Great. DeKaiser, defenseman. Michael Froelich. Two-way forward. Yeah, why not? Screw it. Let's take him. There we go. Wait, his number... Okay, 67. Yeah, that works. You know what? Just to prevent myself from being taunted, I'm going to go to forwards. There we go. Nick Foligno, 71. That works. 5.5 million is a lot, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. I mean, there's not a whole lot of risk involved, but considering we basically just said screw salary, let's pick up some Josh Anderson. Sure. Okay, our last pick now. We need someone who's either number 7 or in the 70s. It's got to be Ryan Reeves. It just has to be. Yeah, there you go. So we have a grand total of two centers. We'll make it work. Don't worry. Sim entire draft. Yes, please. Let's go put these lines together and let's see what our team looks like. There's our team. And I'm not sure how fast it's going to disappear, but I think we have a pretty solid squad. So I, yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna do pretty good. All right, it was a lot harder to get chemistry than I thought, but it kind of works. Perot's our first line centerman. He's gonna be playing with Oshi and Ovi. Then Teravine and Broussard and Dadnov gets a plus one. Anderson, Turris, and Ryan gets a plus one. Froelich, Felino, and Reeves is a zero, which is fine. Our defense, we got Giordano and Burns at plus one, but then we got two plus threes in a row here, which is great. And then in net, we got Dobby and Halak. So I'm gonna say Ovechkin gets the most points with 85. And then I'm going to say we end up with 45 wins. So 85, 45, Ovi. Okay? Let's do it. Let's get to the simulation. As tempting as this trade looks, I'm going to respectfully decline. Okay? Not the strongest start, but, you know, tons... Buffalo already fired their coach. See you later, dude. It's kind of fun to look away and then kind of look back. Because you just never know what to expect. You know, like I... Thought, oh great, we're like 4, 5, and 0, oh. and then look back, and we're 10 and 6. It was a pleasant surprise. All right, this one was a not-so-pleasant surprise. 15, 15, and 1. So you know what? In fact, I'm going to stop simulation. I'm going to go do best lines, and maybe that will help. Severely doubt it, but it's what I'm going to do. All right, here is best lines. I had to sub out a player for Reeves because they had him scratched, but he's in there now. So all zeros, and then defense, like that. And obviously our goaltenders, yeah. So, we are not doing very good. I'm honestly really starting to think we won't make the playoffs. But my OV prediction might be on pace. Come on, Vancouver. Let's turn this thing around here. 
21, 22, and 4. Don't let the name chain draft outdo the number chain draft. Yeah, it's definitely going to happen. 100%. Very intriguing trade. I right, screw it. Why not? Sure. <laughs> Let's do it. Wait, what? Oh. Eh. Okay, I got to go do it myself now. Because otherwise, it's going to screw everything up. So, edit lines. Go to the HL. And do best lines. All right, here we go. Best. Yeah. And I just want to make sure our NHL lines are still the same. Yeah, okay, we're good. Let's enter the trade deadline. I'm curious. Who is on the block? All right? Who's up for... Tra well, that's news to me. I don't recall giving permission for that. Definitely never gave the go-ahead, but it is what it is. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Well, I'm going to nope out of here real quick. And let's let the simulation keep going. Yeah, we weren't doing good before the trade deadline. So naturally, we got to tear it up after. Right? It's just how the game works. I wouldn't even be surprised, honestly, if we pull this back and somehow end up making the playoffs. Actually, our whole division kind of sucks. So... We're like one or two points away from being... Yeah, we're only two points away from being second in our division. What the heck? Okay, just go on an absolute tear. Yeah, great. I'll take it, I suppose. We're going to make the playoffs now for sure. It looks like, unless we completely screw up here. No, we made it. Stop the simulation. Wow. Okay, well, let's look at the stats. And yeah, we got 42 wins. So I was wrong on that part. I think out of the corner of my eyes, I oh, we only had points in the 70 range. So... I think I was also wrong there, but he did have the most for our team. So yeah, 91 points and we made it in. Calgary made it in with 88, so we were, I guess, kind of on pace to make it in the whole time, really. But let's see here. Where do we finish in the whole league with 91 points? Actually, 14th. We finished better than I thought. Wow, we did have a really big comeback after the trade deadline. Oh, wow, he had 80 exactly, so... I was also wrong about what I saw out of the corner of my eye. But anyway, Brent Burns with 62, Dadanov with 50, Weber 49, and a minus 7, Oshi 47, Giordano 46. When did that happen? I'm so confused. What? Did we make a trade or something that included him or pick him up from waivers? Because he's not in the lineup. So... All right. Yeah, it says he played all his games for Anaheim, so I don't know exactly how he got here, but uh, welcome to the team, I guess. Well, the entire league, Eichel lit it up with Florida with 105, McDavid 101, and I'll just go through this quick to show you guys. There you go. Let's have a look at some goaltenders here as well. So you see what I see. Had 43 wins for the Rangers. Uh, Rask had 40 with the Avalanche Mrazic on the Golden Knights. All right, there you go. Time to simulate the playoffs. How well will we do? I don't remember how far the name change drafts made it. I think it was a first round exit or maybe second, but it's looking like the number change draft is going to be a first round. Yeah, swept in fact. Well, that is extremely lame. Don't like to see that. The Nashville Predators are your Stanley Cup champions. Let's go look at some of these awards here and then we can check out the playoff tree. So obviously we know Nashville, yep, won the Stanley Cup. And we saw that Florida won the Presidents. We were looking at the standings. They played Boston in the finals. Jack Eichel with the Art Ross and the Hart. Carlson with the Norris and the Lady Bing. Wow, Florida cleaning up right now. Kaprizov on Detroit. Got the Calder. Consmyth goes to Forsberg. Rask with the Vezina and the Jennings. Masterton goes to Dobson. Edmonton's coach wins the Jack Adams. Bergeron with the Selkie. Ted Lindsay goes to Eichel, and so does the Maurice Rocker Bouchard. Well, here you have it. The playoff tree. So that one was interesting, to say the least. I really started to lose faith in our potential to make the playoffs, and somehow we ended up pulling it off, which is good, I guess. All right, well, if you guys have any other draft ideas, then go ahead, leave comments down below. And while you're at it, if you could leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. Still a fair chunk of you that watch these videos that aren't subscribed. So if you could do that, that would also be tremendously appreciated. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next video.